What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Let's stop by. So today we're going to install this power tank mount to hold our propane tank. Why I'm doing this is I'm kind of prepping for, I'm going to start prepping. We have a two week uh, trip going out west coming up here in September. So like I'm in prep mode right now, just, just getting the small stuff done that I want to do for that trip. So instead of running these all the time, one, they kind of get a little expensive, um, especially on a two week trip, you're going to use a lot of these. And then to be honest with you, they do take up a lot of space. Um, so instead of just continuing to buy these, I went ahead and bought an 11 pound tank. Um, I don't remember exactly what it cost to fill this, but it was pretty cheap. So, and this will last, you know, obviously a bit longer than all of those will. It takes up a lot less space. It's a little bit of an investment up front, but I think in the long run, um, it's cheaper uh, using a larger tank like this. Um, obviously it didn't come like this. I added all this stuff and the stickers, but you know, whatever. Um, so in order for me to get this set up right, I'm no longer going to run a cooler. Again, preparing for that two weeks out, because sometimes we could be in the middle of nowhere and I won't have any ice. Picked up a fridge, so I don't have the fridge inside the cab. Normally I just throw this in the cab, but that's getting changed up right now because the spot is going to get taken for the fridge. So that's why I picked this mount up. So this specific mount, the, um, the model number on this one is BKT2286. They have a ton of different mounts. I'm almost positive, which I'll make sure before I put the video out, that this mount will hold either a five pounder or a 10 pounder. Sometimes they call these 11 pounders, so 10 or 11 pounders are about this big. The five pounder is about half of this, but as long as the width is kind of the same, uh, it should fit in here just fine. Uh, and then when you buy this kit, what you're gonna get is this mount and this strap, right? We gotta put the strap in and build it in. So what you're gonna need to go and mount it like me. I plan on mounting it in the bed on the rails on the side and then the top bolts. So these right here are gonna slide into the rail using these T-slot nuts, which I'll have a link to these. These are kind of a better quality than I usually bought, so they look pretty good. And then the lower ones are gonna get bolted into my built right industry, it's kind of molly. So be prepared, they don't have any lower mounts, so there's no mounting hardware here. You're gonna to have to mount it yourself. It makes sense because you can mount in so many different places. You mount it how you want and where you want. Um, for me, why this is going to work is I might not always have to remove it. Um, I like kind of cooking on the tailgate. Um, so in order for me to do that, mount it there and cook on the tailgate with no issues. I did pick up one of these as well, which I want to say this is a six footer. Um, so this one attaches obviously to the tank and then to your cooking and right on the tailgate. If I wanted to, I have a table and a canopy that I kind of back under sometimes. I could always just throw the table here, mount it there, or if I have to go somewhere, you can remove it from here and kind of just take it with you. Um, but for the purposes of what we're, you, what we're gonna be doing, um, I might not want to remove it, so I'm gonna be cooking on the tailgate. That's why I have this six foot hose to help me get wherever we need to get. Um, I'm trying to think, can I think of anything else? I just think it's a really good idea um, carrying one of these instead of a bunch of these. So especially if where you're going kind of gets hot and you have like buddy heaters, you run through those small ones pretty quickly and then you're constantly just buying more and buying more. And they have gotten more expensive here recently. Um, this is a bit of an investment up front, but in the long run, it saves you money. All right, so let's, I think we're good. Let me show you where I want to put it in the truck and we'll just start getting it mounted. So before we jump, before we jump in the truck, uh, let's get the strap on. Mm, strap on. Uh, we're going to kind of slide this in this groove. And then according to what they say to start it is like pick this. You have three spots to go to. Obviously you have a lower mount for the five pounder. Here's the, the higher mount for the bigger tanks. You got kind of three spots to start at. The middle one is probably your best bet. Um, kind of fine tune from there. This is the little hardware that they give you along with the Allen. So little tiny screws with nylocks and a washer. So I'm gonna get the washer, get the flat side down, get the nylock. We're gonna go through here like that, and then just get the, the nylock started. All right, well, that's in. And then how this mechanism works basically is you got a nice little lock right here, get you some room. And to be able to tighten it and you're going to just come here slide this through here 
I'm gonna give you, it's kind of interesting, you got a little for a lock here. Um, that way it's a little bit more difficult to steal this from you. So kind of cool. Also, if you just put something in here, doesn't allow it to like slip open while you're driving. So it might be a good idea to just strap something on there. Strap something on your strap so it doesn't open, but we'll get into testing the this when it's time. Let's go get on the truck and show you the dilemma I gotta deal with. All right, fellas, let's, let's big brain this here for a second. So this is where I really would love to have the rack as close here as I can. Um, I'm not 100% positive that I like it here just because of how heavy the tank is um and it not connected to the railing so if we're gonna want it on the railing you're gonna end up about here i mean i could instead of using these kind of wide ones i could use these and then lift it up a little bit and slide it more this way i might actually do that but then you got to pay attention to where these kind of line up um, and then figuring out how to mount them in here i do not want to take this whole thing apart because i have my everything is tied in so I think I'm going to put them here because I like this here. I really would love that the rack went all the way so I can kind of butt this up against here, but it's not going to happen. It's going to end up somewhere around like this right here, which isn't terrible. Not exactly where I want it. So let me get these in and then we'll figure out what to do with these because this is going to be just an enormous pain in the ass. All right, I mean, that is nice and tight, but I still want to figure out another way to get some mounts back in here. I'd be happy with that. It's not going to work here, and it isn't going to work down here because there is no spot for this to perfectly go through. Um, let me see what I can think of. Try to figure out because you see that right there? Like, I don't want that, and obviously we're... This isn't just staying on road, so we do spend a lot of time out in the dirt. All right, so I just wanted to share, share with you guys, this is the first test fit. Um, I, I did have to move the strap from the center over to the one in the front, because there was no way it was going in. Now, up in the front, uh, it gives you enough room over here that you can kind of kind of play with it and tweak it and make it look good. Um, you know, I'm not 100% sure. I love it right here. I, I still, I kind of feel like it's a little high. Um, but I have to keep it kind of high because if I want to be able to get in this cubby, I, mean, I, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I think that I am going to remove it and try to get it on the two bigger ones and see what that looks like. Even though I just went through all this work. So let's, let's see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna run through something with you because I'm in an enormous pain in the ass, right? So, to get it where I want it, and I want it sitting underneath the bed, and as close to here as I can, I can mount one in the rail, and then I would be drilling and making my own holes, right? Through the bed, into, you know, behind the well of the wheel, um, and then bolting it in with longer bolts, which is, I think, what I'm gonna do because that's the... The way that I can guarantee to get it where I want. I don't like it coming up above and I don't like it that far out. And then at this height right here, I have enough room to still open the cubby when I need to. I don't think I don't have anything in there really, but if I ever wanted to, I still have that and I have it as far back as I can get it. And I think that's what the way that I'm going to do this. Um, obviously, again, like usual, pain in the ass for me, but this is just how I want things to be. So let's get this shit done. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do first, I'm just making sure I'm level here. Let me go get, let me go get a level. So you guys have like a favorite little tool that you love, that you barely ever get to use and you just wanna use it with everything you can. This is mine. It's one of them right there. So this looks off, but I'm measuring it. I'm, I'm kind of doing it from the bottom. Trying to make it flush on the bottom. Oh, zeros. And 
Perfect. I'll take that all day. So I'm going to hammer down on this guy. So this is underneath here. Now I know exactly where to drill my holes on. And I'm going to use these two uh, bottom slots right here. Both of those are going to hit some metal. But we got this. No big deal. So I'm going to go drill those holes. And then I have these bolts right here that are going to end up going right through all of this and through. Tie it into the back. I don't think that's not going anywhere. All right. Let's get the drill up. Let me put this back before I forget. One thing I would say, hey, power tank, you should probably use one that has some glue in here. That way it doesn't come off. All right, so I'm going to run them through with a 3 16 So as usual, no way around it, whole lot of back and forth here, getting the bolts just right. There was some issues on the back there in the wheel well on top of the cubby, but we got it all figured out and done. All right, peeps, so I know that's overkill. And I'm doing all of this just to make it look a certain way, but man, that's how I roll. Can't help it, part of my personality. So. When you put this in, you want to like shove it in as much as you can. I got this going this way. Oof, yes. All right, so I like that way more. Still have the cubby. This is all locked into here where it should be and it needs to be nice and tight access is right here all right i'm gonna clean this up bring you back i'll get you a, an idea of what the latch looks like and then what it's gonna look like like while we're driving with everything closed up so let me clean this up i'll be right back all right guys so here is a nice idea of what it looks like mounted the way that i like it He's noticed my big old whack here. I can't even act cool about it. I uh, hit a freaking tree. There wasn't even any trail damage. It was in the middle of a parking lot. So this is what we're looking like. That's your gap down there. So you do have room down here, which I kind of like. You want to slide anything low. Also can still use the cubby. Um, I kind of dig the height. I feel like there's not much lower that I can get if, I, if you want to keep using the cubby. Um, that's where we're at. Um, it is nice and tight. Let me give you a detail on the latch. So essentially you would be throwing something through here to keep this tight. And then when you do this, um, you know, you can slide this off. It is a little tight, which is how I want it. And then that locks in right there. If you put something here to lock it in. So dig that. This is how it looks. I'm kind of here going back. Um, I do think it's a little high, but it's not much we're going to be able to do to mount something like this in the bed. And there it is from right there. Perfect. All right, guys. So if you need anything from me, please let me know. Thanks for watching. As usual, I appreciate it. Like and subscribe really helps me out, guys. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. You guys be safe out there.